and brothers in Jesus Christ, once again, good evening. Have a pleasant Sunday for everyone. Our gospel for this Sunday is taken from St. Mark. I would like to reflect on the theme of true greatness. This true witness is found in the humility and service. In the first reading, the Book of Wisdom presents a wicked person, a person beset by wickedness. And because of egoism, self-centeredness, this person doesn't want to listen to a just person. Instead, he or she will subject when he or she is being tortured. So in this case, the wickedness not only to test the just one, even he or she tried to test God. So my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, it is the height of right, wickedness, all because someone is focused in oneself, egoism. The wicked refuse to serve and to listen even to God. It is really a bad thing. Attitude. In the second reading, St. James warns the Christian community envy, jealousy, selfish ambition, they all come from within. The inner cravings that are in place in the heart would come even plan to murder, to kill someone. And we can see here, look at the false sense of greatness. Because I want something for myself. Because I want to protect my interests. I do not care anything. I don't pay attention to others in the community. So St. James tells us to be open to the wisdom from above, whose action is through justice and peace. Again, in the life of the community, we should guard against this temptation to be great in the wrong way. Great but destructive of other people of the sense of the community. If you don't care, if you don't pay attention to others and you just focus with yourself, of course, maybe, perhaps, you will find the greatness in your life, but in the wrong way. It is the greatness but destructive to the community. The gospel presents to us another prediction of Jesus about his passion. He tells the disciples, he is truly the son of man, but yes, he will be arrested, he will be ridiculed, he will put to death, but on the third day he will rise again. We see the image of the Messiah, the image of the Son of Man, quite contrary to the glamour of the political figure, liberator that most of them were waiting for. Totally unexpected view of the great liberator. They have the view, the figure, the glamour of the Messiah. But here, when Jesus tells something, 
to the disciple quite contrary with the figure of the Messiah. And so we can blame that the disciple, if they could not at the point fully understand the word of Jesus, they are not schooled in the theologic manner. The idea of Jesus is too high for them. Rise from the dead. What it is about, they didn't understand about the idea of this. And they really didn't understand about this idea. But in the other side, they are discussing. They are arguing among themselves about who is the greatest. And again, this whole discussion, imagine, they use the standard of them. They are searching to be great among themselves. And Jesus tells them and reminds them, if you want to be great, then you should be the least. If anyone wishes to be first, to reign first, he shall be last of all and to serve of all. Jesus seemed to be telling to the disciples, okay, go ahead, discuss about greatness, that is good, but I tell you, look it, greatness in the proper place. You want to be first, be the last. And being the last, and being serving of all. And okay then, Jesus called a child. A child which is a symbol of the humble one. The helpless one who does depend on God. A child as a symbol of the poor and to emphasize the humility and the service that the true greatness must carry. He tells the disciples, look, you must welcome and serve not just the power, that's one. The test of your greatness is when you are able to welcome mere children. When you become the servants of the poor, when you become the servants of the least in the society, when you become the servants of the outcast. Meaning, if you consider yourself lower than the poor, the marginalized, the outcast, then you are truly greatness. So my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, greatness here is measured also in the way we become lower, in humble service. Lower to the poor and the little one of society. That's through greatness. So the wise person opened the spirit from above, will embrace such greatness. He or she will not have time, envy, jealousy. He or she will just be devoted to humbly serving the least of all. And that will happen, the true greatness will erupt in their midst. So my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us, like in the second reading, St. James invite us to open our mind, just to open our heart with the wisdom from above. And we, and we will come, if we welcome the wisdom from above, we will know why we are serving the people and why we are devoted to God.
I come before you today And there's just one thing that I want to say Thank you Stretched on, I will bless your name. 